It's Wednesday, June 10th, 2020. As I make this video this evening here on the West Coast, statues, historical statues are being torn down in Virginia. Parts of Manhattan, like the Saks Fifth Avenue store, are boarded up with plywood, covered in barbed wire, protected with armed guards and attack dogs. When I picture this in my head of what's taking place with statues being torn down, the Saks Fifth Avenue store now being guarded with attack dogs and armed private personnel, I ask myself, is this really America? Am I, am I having a nightmare? What is going on here? What is happening to this country? Are we witnessing the fall of America? Now, I know there's people out there that are gonna say, JB, you're wrong. Uh, you, you must not like this country. I love America. And this is why I make these vid vid videos. And I'm gonna call it the way I see it. And when I see things, falling apart. I'm going to tell you they are falling apart. I see society falling apart. I see this economy falling apart. If I did not love this country, if I did not believe that this was the greatest country in the world, if I didn't believe it was worth saving, I would ignore it. I wouldn't talk about it. And for those people out there that just tell us how much they love America and how patriotic they are, and they'll judge and criticize people like me for pointing out the issues, the problems, and the threats to this country, shame on you. I guess we should just all stand by, not question anything that's taking place, not question the total fakery, trickery that is taking place on Wall Street, not question the societal breakdown we are witnessing. We shouldn't question why people are being dragged out of the cars and beaten, why police officers are being attacked, shot, killed. We shouldn't ask these questions. We shouldn't point these things out because if we do, then we're not patriotic? I don't get it. These are the people who sit at home, sit on the couch, and ignore the danger that is coming to America. They don't want to put any skin in the game. They don't want to get involved. They're scared. These same people who call themselves patriots, people who say they love America, but they're too scared to say anything do anything, they're even too, too scared to even admit the truth and point out the threats, point out what's really happening. I make these videos daily because I love this country. I'm very concerned about where we are all going. I love every one of you watching this. I love my American brothers and sisters and I'm very concerned about the road we are going down right now because once America is gone, you can kiss freedom throughout the world, gone. There was a very good article on The Hedge today. It's titled, U.S. Living Standards Are About to Be Squeezed As Never Before. Yale Economist Warns of Dollar Crash. In this article, Peter Schiff discusses the issues that we've been living way beyond our means. He says, what, is it, what has enabled this over the years has, has been the world's willingness to hold U.S. dollars as the primary reserve currency and to continue to loan money to Americans and to the U.S. government so we can continue to live beyond our means. We can have enormous government programs that we don't pay for, and we can consume all kinds of goods that we don't manufacture. We can live in an economy based on consumption and debt without having to save or produce. The world has done that for us, and I think this is what's going to come to an end. I think we are going to see a collapse in the value of the dollar, and when the dollar collapses, America's power is going to dissipate. When this happens, Americans will have to deal with reality, that we have hollowed out our infrastructure, that we've been living beyond our means, and there will be a day of reckoning for all the years of excess. Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. living standard is about to be squeezed as never before. And this is why I repeat on a daily basis the importance 
of preparation, the importance of having a cash reserve, the importance of owning assets, the importance of having your debts paid down. Too many people are going broke trying to look, to, to look rich. Going broke to look rich. Too many people trying to impress people they don't know. Too many people living beyond their means just to impress. These are gonna be the casualties of this economic collapse. They're gonna be the first ones to go. This is the time to be very conservative, the time to hunker down, the time to be small. You must be able to adjust with this economy when it collapses. And if you have too much debt, if you're too big, you are going to perish. Everyone in pensions, 401ks, and the stock market, remember, all these people are gonna be paid in US dollars. When this dollar begins to come under severe pressure, when we start seeing real inflation, hyperinflation, your 401ks, your money markets, your pensions, your stocks, everything paying you in US dollars, it's all worthless. This is why you must hold assets like gold and silver. This is why you must be diversified. You have to have a portion of your wealth in gold, in silver, to protect the wealth that you have. Um, I don't think there's ever been a more important time to own gold, to own silver than right now. And look, I don't care where you buy it from. I believe that it is the most important asset uh, other than protection and food and water, gold and silver are gonna be the most important financial assets you can be holding. When I look at an article like this today, all over the internet, check it out, total US debt increases by $1 trillion in just one month. It took the US over two centuries to accumulate its first trillion dollars of debt. March 23rd, this last March 23rd, the debt was $23.5 trillion, ladies and gentlemen. Today, it is now over $26 trillion. We are now adding a trillion dollars of debt in just one month. This is going to expedite the day of reckoning. This is why you need to be buying gold. This is why you need to be buying silver. This is why you need to be getting your debts paid down. This is why you must be preparing. And I know 98% of the people watching this video have been preparing for years. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Many of you, much brighter than myself, uh, more prepared than myself. Uh, I'm doing the best that I can, and I know that most people out there are doing the best that they can. The most important thing is that you're doing something. Doing nothing is going to guarantee that you lose. It's going to guarantee uh, disaster for you. So do what you can do right now. A little bit will go a long way when this whole thing collapses. Here's another uh, article. Fed has no idea what is coming. Sees unemployment rate between 7 and 14 percent. You know, the Fed has been wrong about everything. I watched uh, John Williams on uh, Greg Hunter the other evening, and he puts unemployment right now at 40 percent. The Fed has either completely lost their minds or they are completely flat out lying to you. And I believe the Fed knows exactly what's going on. I don't believe they've lost their minds. I believe that they're losing control. I believe that they're going to lose control. And I believe that they're trying to just continue to artificially keep this thing on life support until they no longer can. They know exactly what is coming. The day of reckoning is coming, ladies and gentlemen. The Fed has lied to us continually. Remember, they were going to raise rates. Uh, they told us how great the economy was, how strong the consumer was. Uh, they've lied about everything. Lied about everything. This economy is in a depression. Households are in a depression. They are becoming debt slaves, debt serfs. And look, I care about the future of America. I care about everybody in America. I care about every one of you watching this video. And this is why I'm dedicated to making these videos to warn you of the danger coming. You know, I don't think I have to tell most of you. All you have to do is look out your windows and see exactly what's going on in your cities, in your states, and you can see exactly what's going on in your country right now. Just turn on the news. Look at the violence. Look at the hatred. 
uh, look, this is spiritual warfare, good versus evil coming to America. Alar Alarming study finds U.S. public pensions to run out of money by 2028. If you have a pension right now, please do not be solely reliant on that pension. You and I and everybody have been lied to for decades. These politicians have made promises that they cannot keep. The Fed has been lying to us for decades. They're lying to us right now. The politicians are lying to us right now. Your 401ks, your money markets, your, your stocks, your pensions may not be there for you when you retire. That's just a fact. That's just the truth. This is why it is imperative that you are preparing today, right now, because you may only get a portion of that pension if you're lucky. But there is a very solid chance that many pensions in the U.S. that are underfunded right now are not going to exist years from now, meaning when you retire, they're not going to be there. You're going to be responsible for you. What they promised you may not be there for you. A number of U.S. pensions have barely recovered from the 2008 financial crisis. Now they are being hit with continuing economic fallout and historic unemployment. Seven public pension plans, seven major public pension plans are due to deplete their assets by 2028. The depletion would impact many hundreds of thousands of Americans and retirements. Private pensions are also at risk. Individual savings at risk. Don't keep all of your savings in the bank. Don't keep your gold and silver in the bank. I think that's extremely dangerous, especially now. Look, we've all heard about bailouts. Many now are hearing about bail-ins where the banks will go in and take that money out of that checking account or that savings account. If they get into trouble, they're not gonna worry about you. They are gonna take your money that you lent them in those accounts, they're gonna take that money to stay alive. They're gonna rob your, your safety deposit boxes to stay alive. The banks are the biggest criminals in America. Do not trust them with your life savings. Do not trust them with your assets like gold and silver, diamonds. Make sure that you put those assets and that cash in other areas that you can access in a time of emergency. Because when that emergency hits, if these banks get into trouble, which I believe they will, they're gonna bail in, meaning they're gonna take your cash, they're gonna take your gold, and they're gonna take your silver. CBS News, brace for the next phase of bankruptcies. 722 companies sought bankruptcy protection around the US last month. It's a 48% increase compared to the year prior. Just think about that, 722 companies, these are big companies too, that saw bankruptcy protection in just one month. We were just told a, a couple months ago how strong the economy was, how strong the consumer was, but apparently all this was propped up by debt. As long as uh, these companies could borrow at 0%. As long as the consumer has access to a credit card, everything is gonna be okay. Many of these companies, many of the consumers, many households had no cash reserves. This is why they're in forbearance. This is why 15 million people have had to put off making a credit card payment. Just after a couple bad months, we were already seeing trouble after two weeks. And corporate America, all propped up by debt, corporate buybacks, when trouble came, they had no cash. This is another example. You should be looking at this, paying close attention of why you need to have an emergency fund put away, why you need to have assets. Here's an article today in the Miami Herald. Where's my money? 35 million still waiting for stimulus checks, Fed says. Another example of why you shouldn't rely on the government. 35 million people still waiting for a check. It says right here, 13 to 18 million people don't even earn enough money to qualify for relief payments. So people who don't even have that much money, it says, aren't even gonna get a check. They're gonna get no relief. The hedge today, central banks added nearly 32 tons of physical gold to reserves in April, led by the country of Turkey. Another example 
of what you should be doing. You know, I, I'm going to close this video this, this evening. It's a beautiful evening out here in the desert. The birds are chirping. The dogs are running around barking. It's quiet. It's calm. Yet the average American is oblivious to the dangers that lurk. You know, I use the analogy that it's just a beautiful blue sky day, beautiful day at the, at the beach, three foot swells. Everybody's having a great time. Everybody's swimming, but they don't see the danger lurking beneath the water. There is a 20 foot great white shark scanning the surface in that water that nobody sees. And people are out there swimming, surfing, having a good time, not even thinking about the danger that is lurking below. And that's the typical American today. They're out, they're driving around, they're eating fast food, they're watching TV, the power's working, the air conditioning's working, the sun's out, um, everything's fine. You know, they're getting their stimulus checks, they're getting their unemployment checks, everything is okay. They don't see the danger lurking below the surface. And it's gonna be too late when they do notice it. And many people are going to basically bleed to death economically at some point in this collapse. And I don't want that to be you. I'm warning you right now, there's a big massive shark lurking under the water. And if you don't pay attention, you're gonna be a victim. I wouldn't be in the water right now. I would not be swimming in the water. I would be on the beach on solid ground right now, scanning and assessing daily with the dangers that are lurking, whether they be social, political, spiritual, or economical. There are a lot of dangers out there and we need to be paying close attention so that we are not a victim of it. God bless every one of you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you so much to every one of you who helps to support uh, this channel, sending me uh, letters of encouragement, donations. Thank you to everybody heading over to my Patreon channel. I'm gonna try to uh, put up a good training video in the uh, next few days uh, over on, on that platform. But look, all I can say in closing is keep preparing, don't get complacent. The market's gonna continue to surge. The, the television is going to keep telling you everything is okay. The Fed is going to keep telling you everything is okay. Your friends are going to keep telling you everything is okay. You know right here, deep down, you know things are not okay. Prepare accordingly.